Good morning. The other day I did a video called Hangover Burrito. And apparently you guys liked it, which must mean you are all a bunch of hungover reprobates like me. And um, yeah, so that's a good thing. So I have selflessly had an extra couple of beers last night. Got myself a little bit dusty for uh, maximum effect. And uh, I'm gonna make a hangover bagel. Uh, different ingredients, obviously, and slightly different method. But uh, this one, part of it is the fact that when you're dusty, you don't want to create anything too complicated. So I'm going to go for something with minimal prep. Oops, forgot to film this bit in the video. Giveaway in this episode, uh, comment down below the code word that'll be up somewhere, and I'll give you a free copy of my cookbook. Cheers. Prep. Uh, so let's get a fry pan. Start with bacon, streaky bacon, obviously, because flavour is, you know, important. Jeez. All right. And in there, we're also going to chuck. A hash brown. And to make that hash brown cook better, we're going to put in a little bit of butter because having a hash brown cooking in butter and bacon fat sounds pretty bloody good to me. Now we'll get that on the heat. Alrighty. I'm just going to get the um, hash brown to kind of go downhill of everything. So if there's a slight angle on your plate, figure out where that is and make sure the hash brown goes downhill so that it cooks, so that all the oil runs down to the hash brown for it to cook in. There we go. Too much heat there. Things are looking sort of browned up a bit here. Not quite ready to come off, but close. So I'm just going to cut my bagel in half. It's not the best bagel in the world. It's the one I could get easily. And I'm just going to plonk that on there. Warm it up a bit. Slightly toasted. Once the outside of the um, bagels is a little bit browned and warm, you can chuck that in the pan with it, with the other stuff. Get a bit of that fat. Act as like a butter. Right, I think we're good to go. Okay, so got bagel, nicely toasted. <clears throat> Slightly bit of cream cheese. Don't get the light stuff, get the proper stuff. And you'll notice there's no green stuff in here. This is a time for brown food. Brown, unhealthy food. Oh, I forgot to do an egg. Hold on, quickly do an egg. And I'll put that. I'm gonna put that off to the side of the, I'm gonna put all this actually off to the side of the grill plate so it doesn't get cold. Okay. Those guys can go there. So I'll just chuck that straight on there. Hashy B can go there. Whoa. Oh shit, that's falling apart. Okay, that's just gonna go straight in the bagel because it's falling apart. <laughs> <clears throat> Egg. Sorry about the sound of the land jet skis behind me. All right, that looks good to me. Let's chuck this stuff in and go and put it together. Okay, so we'll get our bagel back. I forgot my own breadboard, it's so dumb. Um, so I'm using this horrible giant one. I use this for four drive shows and stuff. 
Um, I used it for making pasta in the last episode, but um, it's heavy and it's cracked and it's not very good. And I really don't recommend it. Now, chili jam. You need some sort of a sweet relish in this. So I'm using chili jam. You can use like a, if you don't like chili, you can use like an onion relish or some sort of another relish. Um, not, you, know, you, could, you could use barbecue sauce if you really wanted to, but I probably wouldn't. A relish and cream cheese is much better. Now I've got ground cream cheese, not normal cheese, just because it's extra creamy. And it really, works really well with bagels. Get your egg. And that's it. It's really simple. I'm just showing you a really simple bagel idea because <clears throat> that's what you want when you're hung. Okay, let's do some gratuitous B-roll. Maybe a bit of a cross section. Do this. Oh. That is magical. Oh. oh. If you don't like runny egg, obviously don't put runny egg in it, but <clears throat> man. Mm. It's all about the hash brown and the chili jam. Be responsible ish. You're all adults. I hope yeah, some of you are adults. Anyway. I'll see you in the next one. I'm going to nail this and maybe have another hangover cure. Ah, that's the good stuff.